If you've worked with Dart and Flutter long enough, you've probably come across Type Promotion. It's a Dart language feature that, in certain circumstances, allows you to treat variables as if they had a more specific type than their original declaration. Here, for example, I've got a variable text of type object, but Dart will allow me at compile time to treat it as if it's a string and access its length property, even though I haven't done any casting. If you're like me, you may have seen type promotion and started using it to simplify your code until one day you ran into a situation like this. It looks really similar. There's the same check and everything, but Dart won't let you treat the reference the same way. Error, maybe string refers to a property so it couldn't be promoted. So what's going on here? Let's take a second and talk about how type promotion works. Type promotion comes into play in two ways, promoting from a general type to a more specific subtype and promoting from a nullable type to the non-nullable underlying type. First, promotion from a general type to a specific subtype. Take this variable text. It's a variable of type object the base class for all Dart objects except for null. If we try to print text length like this, Dart won't let us do it because the base type object doesn't have a length getter defined. However, we know that text is a string, a specific subtype of object which does have length defined. We add a type check and make sure that text is in fact a string. With that type check in place, type promotion takes place. Dart knows that within the scope of that if statement, text is a string. Text gets promoted from an object to a string, so we're able to access text length and print it without issue. Second, there's nullable to non-nullable type promotion, which is exactly what it sounds like. For example, when a nullable variable gets promoted to a non-nullable type, like string. The Dart type system is intelligent enough to track how variables are accessed in the branches of a function. Here, the code branches in one of two ways. The variable maybe string is a string, or it's null. There's also a type check to see if maybe string is of type string. If the type check returns true, then maybe string gets promoted to a non-nullable string in that branch, and we can print its length. If it's not a string, we print out a statement that screams, it was null. Objection, your honor. But how do we know that type promotion took place? Well, nullable types are union type of null and its underlying type, which in this case is string. This means that for nullable types, you can only access methods and properties that are defined by both string and null until type promotion takes place. Even though length is defined for string, it's not defined for null, meaning that length would not have been a valid method if it were still a nullable string. Now, back to our example. If maybe string is null and fails the type check, Dart takes the second branch and we end up at the print statement, which prints, it was null. Then there's the promotion of a general type to a specific subtype. Let's revisit our earlier example, which had the variable text declared as an object. Stepping through the code, Dart can tell that the code branches again in one of two ways. First branch, the variable text is in fact a string, in which case, print the string's length. Or the second branch, text is not a string, in which case, print some output saying that it's not a string. Dart knows that once you're within the first branch, the text variable is a string. Why? Because we had the type check which passed, and so the object got promoted to a string within the body of the if statement. Within that branch, we can keep accessing text as a string thanks to type promotion. On the flip side, if we land on the second branch, Dart knows that the example variable is not a string because it failed the type check, and so it's not promoted. Well then, why didn't it work in our unreliable provider example? Let's take a look at it again. We've swapped out the text variable for the maybe string property, but nothing else has really changed. Why does type promotion work with variables but not object properties? Taking a deeper look at our seemingly suspicious unreliable provider, we see that the getter for the maybe string property is truly living up to its name. Maybe string is sometimes a string, sometimes it's just null. We've seen this before. Well, at least whoever named this variable was descriptive. Knowing what we know now, our failing example makes more sense. Dart knows you could possibly write code like this, so it has to handle it. Otherwise, Dart couldn't guarantee sound null safety. As a result, type promotion doesn't work for object properties because an object property has the potential to return a different type on a second call. So even though the first call to get maybe string could have returned a string, a second call could have potentially returned a different type, null.
You may be wondering, well, what if I've made sure that my object property returns a value that isn't null, but it still doesn't work? Dart doesn't have sealed classes. That means every class can be extended or even implemented. For example, implied setters and getters can be overridden and the extended class may choose to return null for that same object property, like so. So how do you get around this problem with type promotion and object properties? Hint, only local variables can be promoted. So assign the object property value to a local variable, then reference the variable instead of the property. Voila, the type check is successful and maybe string local gets promoted to a string. One thing that can be easy to forget when you're using a local variable for type promotion, if you want to write a value back to the object property, make sure you update the property itself and not just the local variable. To see an example of type promotion in action, check out the included Dart pad in the link below. Hopefully this helps to save you some time while coding and lets you take full advantage of everything Dart and type promotion has to offer. For more info on Dart and Flutter, head to dart.dev and flutter.dev.